So whether you've been in withdrawal since we quit doing Hook of the Week a few years ago, or maybe you just like simple projects in the blacksmith shop, something you can complete on a weekend afternoon, these little hooks are an ideal way to go. Today I want to do one that's a little bit different. The finial on the end is a tight rolled up scroll instead of an open curly cue or open scroll of some sort. And the other end features a little bit of file work, so hopefully you'll find this project interesting. This starts with a piece of quarter by three quarter by six inches long. That's about six millimeters by 20 millimeters by 150 millimeters long. I'm going to start our hook by isolating the mass that will become the finial end and I will taper that as well as tapering back into the mass of the or into the body of the hook. Kind of making this up as I go along. I don't have a specific plan, just kind of have a end point in mind at this point. This is where the double horn anvil really comes in handy. You can get this in and work right up next to where you need to without the tongs being in the way. On the face of the anvil, sometimes the tongs prevent you from getting to the far edge. I want to thin this out. I don't really want it to fishtail. It's going to do that kind of naturally as I thin it. But once I get it thin enough, we'll go ahead and bring it back into parallel. I don't want any sharp corners or anything like that that's going to stick out and be a finished hook. It might snag clothes or whatever you hang on the hook. And it's ready to roll up. I want to roll this up as tightly as I can. I don't quite want it to look solid. You could make it as solid as possible and actually forge weld it into one solid mass, but I want to be able to see that it's been scrolled up. This would actually be easier with a lighter hammer. This three pound hammer is a little overkill. Two pound hammer would probably be ideal for this. Stop and look at it every now and then, make sure both sides are rolling up the same. Sometimes these will roll up asymmetrically and that would kind of ruin the effect. Just trying to get everything centered up. It gets rather fiddly, so just take your time and do whatever you need to do to get everything to line back up the way you want it. Personally, I think making hooks is a great exercise for beginners uses minimal material and you can try out all sorts of different techniques with very little investment in time and materials both. Now I want to go ahead and taper the main body of the hook. I think I want a gentle taper all the way up to the end. I'm not putting any kind of a specific finial on the top end of the hook, just on the, the hook portion.
We've been having a lot of 80 and 90 degree days, so instead of lighting a forge, I'm actually doing all this in the induction forge. No reason you couldn't do something like this in a coal forge, a propane forge, or even with a boxy fuel torch if that's all you have. The induction forge does have the advantage of giving me real nice isolated heat, so I'm not getting too much material hot here. I'm going to go ahead and punch the holes. I think it would look fine with drilled holes or punched holes. But going back to this being a good place to practice technique and learn a few things, punching holes is a good skill to learn. Sorry I didn't uh, reposition the camera and focus in on that block. It's actually a bolster. I don't remember why I made it, but it's got just the right size hole in the top of it. So that's what I'm going to use for this. Of course, every project's got to be dropped on the floor at least once. A little bit of file work on the end. Here's somewhere I forgot to turn the camera on, so you're just seeing the end of this. File work is something I really like the look of, but I don't do much of it, so I need to practice that a lot more myself and just get better at symmetry. This is a little bit off-center, but it still looks pretty good. And I like the effect of the filed bevels. Once those bevels are filed in, I think it's going to be time to go ahead and put my touch mark on this. And then go ahead and turn it into a hook. You can bend this over the horn of the anvil, use a bending fork, some sort of a set bending jig. Lots of different options for getting this bent. For turning it up, I like this little cone mandrel. It really helps be able to see the hook as you work with it. Over the horn, you're not looking at the bend, you're looking at the flat side. So this lets you see it as you work on it. And of course, it's not quite straight, so put it in the vise and give it just a little bit of a twist and straighten everything up. I want this wire brush nice and clean. I don't want this hook to be rough and coarse looking. I want it to be a, a fairly refined looking hook. Johnson's Paste Wax is out of business. We're using Zax Wax or Forge Finish. It's a pretty nice substitute for Johnson's Paste Wax. Probably better than Johnson's Paste Wax. I'll put a link down in the video description to ZH Fabrications. That's where you get this wax. I'm going to go ahead and clean up that file work a little bit so it shines silver and then put just a little bit more wax on those to make sure they don't rust even though it's just barely warm now and not hot like I prefer it for the wax. But for an interior project this should work just fine. 
all the other things I'm doing this summer, I'm finding it hard to do long, more involved videos like I might like to do. And doing simple little projects like this aren't too bad to do and fit those in and have a few more videos every week. It's not like I haven't actually been in the blacksmith shop, even though some of my priorities have been things like working on the cabin and trying to get the little hand tool shop up and running. I've been in here the last few days, early in the morning, working until it gets way too hot, working on piles of holdfasts, a bunch of little hinges and other things that I'm taking to the show we're going to in September. By the way, if you want to know, that's Handworks. It's in Amana, Iowa, September 1st and 2nd. There's no admission, but they do like it if you register. So I'll put a link down in the video description if you'd like to register for that. This is a hand tool woodworking show. It is not a blacksmithing event. It's a place where you go to buy really cool hand tools and other things like hardware that woodworkers find interesting. So if you're into woodworking, especially if you're into hand tools and you're not too far away from Amana, Iowa, stop by and say hi. We'll be in the Greenwood Barn. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get it to your shop. Make something, stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.